Good morning, and welcome to your very chilly message from First Congregational Church, Milford, New Hampshire. I'm your pastor, Al Hoyt. Today is Thursday, February 2nd. As far as I know, this is the coldest day we've had in a long time. So I hope you're in, staying inside, keeping warm, keeping yourself bundled up if you have to go out. Uh, today, from 8.30 to 5.30, in the parish house is the Lifeline Health Screening event. Uh, at 7.30 tonight will be choir rehearsal in the sanctuary. Tomorrow, February 3rd, from noon to 2.30, will be a funeral reception for Carlos Gomez. Saturday, February 4th, from 10 to noon, the trustees will be setting up for the annual meeting. If you have some time available and can give them a hand, they would really appreciate it. Sunday, February 5th, at 9 a.m. is the adult Bible study in the Parish House Parlor. At 10 is our normal work church service in person, including live streamed. Immediately following church will be the 184th annual meeting. Please bring your annual report to the meeting. There are not enough for everybody to have one that's already gotten one from home, so please bring them with you. Um, you can attend via Zoom, and the instructions on how to do that will be sent out um, soon. A light lunch will be served. So one of the things that I have been asked to remind you is in order for us to conduct the business that we need to conduct, the business that keeps our church running, we have to have a quorum of 50 people. That's five zero people. So if you cannot attend in person, please plan on attending via Zoom. Uh, Zoom attendance does count, and there is a uh, means by which you can vote and have your voice heard during those meetings. So please plan on attending either in person or in Zoom. I am required, yet again, to read the call to the annual meeting. Call of the annual meeting. The 184th annual meeting of the First Congregational Church, United Church of Christ, Milford, New Hampshire, will be held in the Parish House on Sunday, February 5th, 2023, immediately following Sunday worship. The Sunday service is at 10 a.m., and the church and parish house are located at 10 Union Street in Milford, New Hampshire. The 2022 annual reports of all staff, officers, boards, committees, and organizations of the church will be presented and acted upon. The nominating committee thanks everyone who has volunteered their time for one of the many positions that our church bylaws require. We appreciate the willingness for members to stay on their respective council, boards, and committees past their terms during and since the pandemic. We respect those members who have chosen to take a different role or a break from service to be volunteers only. The church council convened its special research team who called themselves the Governance Task Force, which has been meeting to review our current church bylaws. One of its goals is to make recommendations for restructuring and right-sizing the required 26 elected positions, as well as the additional 39 supporting positions. Prior to and during the pandemic, and in this post-pandemic year, it has been challenging at best to fill these positions. The nominating committee supports the efforts being reviewed by the Governance Task Force and proposes the following resolution. Resolution 1, be it resolved that the nominating committee, recognizing the current global church governance structures and the ongoing difficulties in filling vacant positions, request suspension of bylaws, rules for term limits in Section 7B, Officers, Section 8, and Section 9 for one year and postponing adding new committee members to allow the governance task force time to continue to develop and present an alternative leadership structure. As a member of that group, I can tell you we're making good progress on that, and there will be a report at the annual meeting, uh, a presentation to, to let you know where we are in that, in that progress. 
on Tuesday, February 7th from 6.30 to 9, the Sauhegan Valley Chorus will be rehearsing in the sanctuary. On Thursday, February 9th, I will be conducting my monthly worship, worship service at the Bedford Falls Assisted Living Facility at 10.30 a.m. on February 9th. And, of course, at 7.30 on February 9th, choir rehearsal in the sanctuary. So we're getting to that time. The deacons met yesterday, and we talked a bit about what's coming up with all of the different activities coming up. Hard to believe, but Ash Wednesday will be Wednesday, February 22nd. The soup and bread suppers will begin starting 6.30 p.m. on March 1st. Um, we'll be doing the, the deacons will be hosting the soup and bread suppers and a Bible study every Wednesday night during Lent. And I was at a presentation yesterday at the Rotary Club from the general manager of the Nashua Silver Knights. And the new schedule is out. Um, if you'd like to know what the Nashua Silver Knights schedule looks like, you can go to their website, uh, Nashua Silver Lights. No, nights.com and you can find a copy of the schedule and download it yourself and put it right on your own computer. That schedule, um, I will be planning um, an outing for the church to go to a Silver Knights game. Um, there are five 3 p.m. Sunday games, so we'll plan one of those in the near future. So I suggest you take a good long look at the schedule and see which one of those Sunday, Sunday dates works best for you. Um, all kinds of things going on and planning. The deacons have chosen their Lenten devotional. Um, our first choice, choice was already sold out, but we got past that. Um, we have all of the excitement of Holy, Holy Week coming, including Palm Sunday, um, Monday, Thursday, and the choir will be participating with the Milford United Methodist Church in a Good Friday cantata. And I don't know any of the details yet, but I believe it will be at the Milford United Methodist Church. And I hope a bunch of you will come. You'll have a, our choir and another and uh, Milford United Methodist Choir and some other musicians involved and some other clergy as well. And it sounds like it'd be a really good time. So I hope that you will put that on your skip, skip calendar and plan on attending with the mem members of our church um, this year, of course. The sunrise service will be here in our outdoor, outdoor chapel. And, of course, we look forward to that sharing that sunrise service with the United Methodist Church in Milford every year. So, <laughs> and with that, please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. So I can't emphasize enough in this spite of cold spite of cold weather we're going to be having the next few days please make sure that you stay indoors and warm if you have to go out that you dress appropriately cover up any exposed skin you can get frostbite within just five or six minutes on exposed skin um, in these extreme temperatures um, if you're having a problem with heat or having a problem um, that you need you need help with um, contact me, contact somebody at the church, um, but, but, and pay attention to if there are any shelters available. I believe the town is going to have a warming shelter available. Um, so, so just keep aware of all of those things. It's far, far too important um, and, and too dangerous to be, <coughs> excuse me, staying at home in, if you don't have heat in this extreme weather. And again, Please come to the annual meeting. Come in person or come via Zoom. Let's get the choir.
quorum. Let's get our business done so that we can continue to carry on the church business for the next year. The church has, the church has been here for 243 years. And let's make sure that we continue to go forward for another 200 years. So with that, take good care of yourself, especially in this cold. Take good care of each other. And God bless you.